the land and water around us. Welcome. Today we're going to have a look at the land, water, and natural resources all around us. Let's start with our country. Land comes in many different shapes. If you were to take a trip across the United States, you would see that the land changes from place to place. You might see a desert, which is a dry area of land where it doesn't rain very much. Another part of the country has a rainforest where it rains a lot. When we see the land change from place to place, we are seeing different landforms. The highest landforms are mountains. They can be very high, even thousands of feet high, with sharp and pointy tops and edges. In between tall mountains, there is a low area called a valley. Valleys are also landforms. Land that is flat as far as the eye can see is a plain. Plains are good for farming. When the land is raised with sloping sides, we are looking at a hill. A trip across the United States would show us these landforms and would also show us different kinds of water. We call these bodies of water. One of the easiest bodies of water to see is a lake. A lake is a body of water that has land all around it and water in the middle. The land completely surrounds the water. In a lake, sometimes you can also see an island. You can think of an island as the opposite of a lake. A lake is a body of water with land all around it. And an island is a landform with water all around it. A peninsula looks a lot like an island, but it has land on one side. So, it's a landform that has water on all sides, except one. Another body of water you might see when crossing the United States is a river. If we could see a river from up high, it would look like a long ribbon of water. Rivers are always flowing and moving as they make their way to a larger body of water, maybe a lake or even the ocean. Oceans are the biggest bodies of water of all. They can have big waves and are made of salt water. Rivers and lakes don't taste salty. We say they are made of fresh water. A big snowstorm is called a blizzard. Blizzards bring strong winds and lots of snow. A very strong wind with a heavy rain might be called a hurricane. Hurricanes often blow in from the ocean. Another strong storm is a tornado. Tornadoes look like a cloud and are shaped like a funnel. They blow in a circle and move around, causing danger to people and homes. Each of the regions gives us things that we can use. These useful items are called natural resources. Natural resources are not made by people. They are made by nature. The air we breathe is a natural resource. Water is a natural resource since we need to drink it. Plants and the soil they grow in are also natural resources. The resources that grow back are called renewable resources. Windmills and wind power are renewable resources because the wind is never used up. 
if we're careful to replant trees that we use, then they are also renewable. Thanks for joining us today, and we hope you enjoyed learning about the land and water around us. Bye for now!